What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 today and we still have our wide body Aventador. This thing looks so good. Let's head out, get on the road, and pick up exactly where we left off. At the end of last part, we unlocked a brand new showcase and I wanted to head over there today and actually do that because I've heard you unlock some pretty special cars. So Let's do that. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying this series as much as I have. It has been so awesome so far to just be making these videos. It's really, really been cool. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying them if you are. If you are, I hope, you, I hope you've subscribed, enjoyed all the other stuff I've been uh, trying to put together for you guys. It's, it's just been awesome. Anyways, the game should now officially actually be out for everyone. So I hope you guys will join our AR-12 club that we have. If, uh, if we go into here, it's currently locked for me. I'm not far enough in the game. But you will unlock the club at some point. We have two clubs this year. It's going to be AR-12 and AR, uh, like a capital I, 2. And we have both of those just because there are so many of you guys now. We have two clubs, so as many of you guys can join as possible. Also, I just want to get this, this fast travel board because fast traveling will become quite important soon. I mean, after we start to do some drift builds and stuff like that, we'll start to pull in a lot of skill points. And a lot of skill points means we can get a lot of those new perks. And some of those perks are like are like fast traveling, for instance. So we'll be using that soon, um, but probably after like a drift build or something. Because just from playing the game like this, we don't actually get too many perks and skill points, but we'll work on it. Also, now that the game's officially out, I'm going to start tossing some cars on the auction house at random that either have AR-12 paints or, or whatever that you guys might find interesting. So if you want to get notified of when exactly we're doing those, Follow me on Twitter and you guys will get notified right away. And I'll be like, hey, this car is up for this many hours. Go buy it. It, it. Here's some pictures of it and stuff like that. It should be pretty cool, I think. And that also means we can start up the... What the hell happened here? <laughs> There's so many crash cars. We can also start up my most favorite series I've ever done on the channel. Drifting used cars where I went in on the auction house. And I found a car that sort of looked like a drift car. And then just tried to drift it, so I'll be starting that series up fairly soon as well. Anyway, so we have arrived at our race, and it looks like we're going to be racing the train. We've got Freight Express. So this is going to be my first proper showcase. Oh, sweet Camaro, man. This is going to be my first proper showcase. The first one I did was in the buggy, and I mean, I've done that a thousand times now. But we are going to be racing it's a, train. a train. Oh my god, we're fast and furious, and it's stuck. Oh my god, the launch of the train! 0 to 60 on a train, 0.5 seconds. Uh, so we're fast and furious racing this train, like legit. <laughs> That's so sick. I wish, you know what would be really cool is if they put the, the, the car like a bright orange Supra or something, or like an R34. That would have been so sick. Oh my God. That is so sick. That is awesome. Oh my God. We've never raced a train like that before. There's always been invisible wall. I just got a video idea. I got a video idea. I'm gonna land on the train. I'm gonna try to land on the train. Totally, 100%. Oh my God, you can totally go up there, fly and land. That's a video. Are we gonna cross the tracks again? Oh my God, no. Uh, no, but we're gonna get close to them. Uh, rally driving a Camaro now. Trying to rally drive the Camaro. Oh God, we're tr crossing the tracks again. <laughs> That is so sick! Oh, get the landing nailed. There we go, sweet landing. 50% of the way through this race. We're currently sitting behind the train, according to the game at least. But like, one of the things with the showcase is that they're like, they're, they're rubber banding. So you can't actually win until usually the very end. Anyways, we've now taken the lead apparently. So what I just said is wrong. Oh, and there's the finish. One mile away up in the distance. We're, we're technically in front of the train right now. But look at him all the way up there. He's got so much speed. He has crazy amounts of speed. This is actually going to be really close. This is going to be really close. Look how fast he's going. Oh, the train's slowing down. We picked up a bunch of speed going down the hill. Up through here. We're still technically in first. There's the train. It's going to be a photo finish. We got it. We got it. We beat the train. What was the time on that? It was a... Train driver. You're early. <sighs> the diesel train. We beat it by less than a second in our Fast and Furious-like race versus the train. That's so sick! Level A, yeah, buddy! That was some good XP, 6,000 credits there. 
Ooh, we can win the M4 Horizon Edition. That's gonna be Liberty Walk already. But we're picking up 40,000 credits, gonna double to 80. Now I'm getting some money rolling back in, boys, finally. And how many fans are we gonna get? Did we just get 57,000 new fans? Holy shit, the PR stunts make you... What? We gotta head all the way back to the uh, Horizon Festival and upgrade it to level 3. Oh, well, we got groove music now. So you guys can get use your groove stuff now. I'm gonna decline that. Ooh, new person. Are you on the way? Oh, we've seen this person. Oh. The driver will be somewhere around here. Let's go get the barn. Let's go get the barn. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> Maybe not the best route I've taken. Oh, God. Yep. I have not taken the best route. I need a Ford Raptor, not a Lamborghini Aventador for all of this. I'm wading, like, rivers and stuff. This is not what I had in... Um... You might want to fix that, Horizon. <laughs> Where is the Australian authorities? Oh, skill point earned. Yep, that was on purpose. I want more monies for my street racing, considering we might do one up here. <gasps> for Your driver tar is lining up at other festivals, earn 50% for being hired to someone else's lineup. Cool. I love this game, how I just beeline every single route in <laughs> that it pops up with for me. This is like straight lines, straight lines, straight through the trees, and yeah, not the rocks. Uh, I'm gonna drown an Aventador. New oh, barn find. Another barn find? Car in a rundown shack I was just Go there! Deep. I was just there! Hey, it's Ali Hashbrown. Okay, let's find this barn and this Drivatar. Also, I totally forgot to mention, if you guys want to sign me to your Drivatar lineup and you want to race with me and race against me and stuff like that, and sign me to everything, you guys have to add me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag's in the description down below. It's AR12 space and then the word Nick. Um, so yeah. So anyways, let's go find this barn. It's gonna be impossible though. Look at this. Is this a barn? Hello? Barn? I mean, you are a barn, but I guess you're not the barn. Our Lamborghini's too low to see over a lot of the- Uh, the drone doesn't fly high enough to see over a lot of these too. Barn, 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 barn. The map is huge! Oh, 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 is that a building up here? Is that a building up here? No. Maybe if we- Can we see anything from up here? What's that over there? What's that? I totally spotted something over there. Is this it? <gasps> we found it! We found the barn! We did it, boys! That was so helpful! We went on top of the house over there and we could see where the barn was! Alright, let's roll up to the barn, man! Let's see what's in here in our first Forza Horizon 3 barn. What is it going to be? I'm so ready? pumped. I'm ready. Let's We're see. ready. Come on. Oh, yes. it's beautiful. Well, I mean, you know, it's a bit covered in mud and slime and whatever that thing is, but oh, boss, that is a Ferrari Dino under there. It looks so good. The tires are like deflated. I'm like, ah! The barn finds improved so much, they look like crap in there. That looks really good, actually. All right, so he's gonna take the Ferrari back to his garage, fix it up for us, and then soon we'll have it. And then, I mean, we do have that other barn find on our map to do as well, so might save that for next part, though. Well, maybe we'll do a barn find in episode. We got 15 barns, so we could do that. My internet broke. Like a needle in the outback, find your first barn find. Apparently started up the game, it was like, yeah, you're supposed to get this achievement. Didn't give it to you. Here you go. Thanks, game. You know what? I found a good way to get... Oh, this same Drivatar. Oh, we should have done that while we were there. Anyways, because our internet died, we now got, like, teleported here. Let's find the barn. So this festival is going to be level three. I have no idea what this is going to look like. But let's see, and... Ooh, it's big now. That is that like the max level for for a festival? Because it looks pretty massive. Like, it looks pretty built up, I think. the heart to tell him about stage four. What? There's a stage four! God damn it! <laughs> let's get in the fa- Let's get in the raptor. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we're in the city. So it's gonna be kind of pointless to be driving around in a raptor. But... Eh, it'll- it'll work. It'll totally work. Okay. Ooh! Oh my god, there's even more! Are there more? Holy crap, there's so many! 
Um, so let's start heading out here and do some of these, I think. Because we're, we're in a raptor, right? We want to be off-road for this. So let's head down to, to that area and do stuff over there. Oh, it's Tom Matthews, also in a raptor. Oh, it looks so good. Let's bring you with us. Come on, buddy. Come with. Join my crew. Um, I don't think I'll fit it. <laughs> just. I can just fit in there. Oh, what's this? What's this? Undiscovered route. This is going to be a race. Bypass sprint. Oh, what? There's all these? These are like other, other things that I can check. Like, that. Uh, Alan made that. Forza favorites. All right. The bypass sprint. We got so many off-road cars. I think we got a slam tank all the way up there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. See if we're actually going to be doing some off-roading. I really hope we are. I didn't actually check before we started, but... Eh. Oh, are we really going to be driving back into the city? Oh, we're going to be going through the tunnel, though, back into the city. I mean, we're in, like, ninth place. Why are you breaking in the tunnel? Oh, my God. Look at the slam tank up here. Slam, slam tank breaking in the tunnel. Don't do it. I'm being pushed out. Let me through. I am a raptor. I am bigger than you. I don't think I've gone lifted off the throttle in this entire race so far. It's always been flat to the floor and break. First time I've lifted off right there. So I'm thinking this difficulty is actually pretty good. Because, I mean, through the city at least, I'm kind of slow. I'm much better at the off-roading stuff. So, I don't know. I feel like this difficulty is okay, actually. All right, come on. I gotta catch this guy. We're 40% of the way through this race. And we've just got Forza AI. Guy all the way up here. And then the rest of the pack way behind. I'm loving this Raptor, though. Only issue is it's really heavy. And because I didn't do anything to it, it's not the most, like, agile car there is, I would say. It's like I specifically jumped in the Raptor to go do some off-roading stuff down near the, uh, the shipwrecks and stuff like that. But it's just like, well, I got screwed. Yeah. And past the Land Rover. There we go. Up into first position in this race. 60% of the way through this race. We're going to head right past our festival, I think, actually. I'm sort of starting to learn this map a little bit. I know Surfer's Paradise quite well and the Byron Bay area. But anything like in the Outback, I'm just lost. There are still some areas of this map that I just haven't driven to yet. And it's just like, yeah, I'm not going to get there for a while, I think. I mean, unless I specifically made it a point to go and, like, go to those areas i would go to them but it's like uh, we have to expand our festival we've only we've only built one festival so far we still have two more to go and then we have to upgrade all those so i mean we still got plenty of work to do for this hey going past our festival looking good as it's level three buddy level three festival i can't believe there's a level four is level four the max or is it level five or level six or i don't know i have no idea i i was expecting level to stop on level three to be honest anyways We've taken that race. Nice little easy win, sort of. I mean, we had some. We, we did have some work to do, and we couldn't screw around too much. But, not bad. Look at them all, man. All right, let's pull in some big XP. Oh, my God, we got 13,000 XP. Are we going to... Uh, oh, that's money. That's totally money. Money's useless. We need to just level up. Money is like... We need to level up for our, all, all, all our money. Nearly 10,000 XP from that. We do one more event. We're going to level up. That's going to be awesome. Pulling in 10,000 fans. Look at us. 150,000 fans. That that P showcase event was unbelievably successful, pulling in 50,000 fans. Oh, it was a drift zone all the way up here. 25,000 point. I mean, we can't take the Raptor down there, but we need the Raptor for that. I mean, screw it. Let's drift. Let's drift in the Raptor. Why not? Let's let's set the waypoint. Set it over there. Then we'll go do the PR stunt and maybe like get an XP board or a, or a beauty spot or something. Yo, look at our convoy. It's all raptors. It looks like a Ford Raptor commercial. Raptor. 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 We did good. We made the right choice. All right, let's do some drifting in a in a Raptor because that's a... All right, we just got cock blocked by Ford Raptors. Move out of my way. Can I, like, disband my crew? Because now they're pissing me off. And Ford Raptors don't really drift. I've decided. We got a thousand points. Why would you stop on the line? How do I disband them? All right, you, you, you all need to piss off. We're going to do the PR stunt first. But this is why I brought out the Ford Raptor, man. This is what it's built for. Off-roading and everything. You can do so much cool stuff out here. It's awesome. And I mean, smashing into stuff looks good. Ooh, what is that up there? Is that, is that an, actually a Ford Raptor? 
Alright, my crew's pissing me off. They're just getting in my way. <gasps> it's not. It's the it's the car from the demo. These things usually get us quite a lot of fans, though, don't they? Unleash all 800 horsepower of the trophy truck at the shipwrecks. What do we need to do? I have a feeling we're going to be doing... Show off some ultimate air skills. Oh, yes. You guys have done good today. So we just need to do some crazy jumps over all of these things. Like, wee! 800 horsepower, man. Alright. It's not very easy to drive this, I will say. But it does look cool. Oh, that's so sick! That's so sick. Oh my god, we can even use the dunes. I didn't even think of that. I mean, we didn't really get air from that, but... But you get my thinking. Alright, we need some jumps. We need some jumps. Here's some jumps. I'll take this one. Here we go. Oh, okay, good. Good thing I can go through that. I was getting a little worried there. I'm like, there, can I go through that? I have no idea. All right, through here and up here. Someone's gonna build a blueprint race here. I can tell already. We're up to four now, good. All right, once we get in like the groove of this. Oh my God, is that gonna count as one? Oh, that's not a jump. I saw it at the wrong angle. Yeah, buddy. Is that ultimate air? It is ultimate air, sweet. Oh, this game is cool, man. Like, when could you have done this in Horizon 2? This is just awesome. It's really cool. And here's another one. Sweet. And we got 47 seconds left to do two more jumps. And let's grab this one. Sweet. And we need just one more now. And uh, across the line. Once we land, we should get it. Sweet. I did my 10 ultimate airs. Looked good while doing it. 5,000 credits for that. I mean, you, you barely get any money from those. But we are going to level up, which is going to be sweet. We can get a C, uh, a CLK. That's an SLK, 55 AMG. But we're going to pull it in instead. Oh, we're going to pull it in. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We got it. I wasn't expecting to get a car. That's the first car I've gotten. We got like 8,000 fans from that. Like 40K away from, from the next festival. <laughs> Looking good. All right, let's go try to do this. Uh, this drift zone in a Ford Raptor. Okay. Hello, XP board. How much XP is that? Oh, was that a 5,000 one? All right, so let's try to do some drifting. We need 10,000 points in our Raptor. And I mean, 10,000 points is not a lot. But when you're in a Ford Raptor, yes, it is. All right, let's try to pull in some speed here and go into the drift zone. Probably get like 10K points right here. That's my goal. Nearly worked. 9,800 points. Hey, there's 10K. In a Ford Raptor. Why am I drifting this? Out of all the cars I own, why this for drifting? New personal best. I mean, what? We were like 200 points away from two stars. I mean, it's not bad. We earned 7,000 fans from that. That's pretty good. And we've written off our Raptor now. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you guys can subscribe down below for more videos like this in your subscription box. I'm going to be playing a bunch of... Thanks, Jeep. I'm going to be playing a bunch of Forza Horizon 3, so if you guys are as excited as I am for this game, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, see you guys in the next one. Bye!